are introducing their brand new fuel agnostic engine range. It's a perfect example of Destination Zero. They're aimed to drive down emissions across all of their engines. Feels great to be back at Con Expo in 2023, uh, in front of the customers, meeting people, and sharing all our exciting new products with the world. The agnostic display is our uh, latest diesel, uh, well, internal combustion development platform. Uh, so we're, we're trying to future proof. We're basically intending to take future emissions as an opportunity to develop uh, common base engines that we can change air handling and, and cylinder heads on and be able to run you know, low carbon fuels, uh, be able to run hydrogen, natural gas, and kind of adapt to the market needs. The key features, I think the, the biggest one for this product, uh, from our perspective, is you're going to see the red components behind me. Uh, scalability is really important when you're talking about future emissions and, and how you're going to develop product. Uh, with the concept on the fuel agnostic platform, you basically scale the bottom end of that engine independent of what fuel you put in it. Uh, all we have to do is, is change the cylinder head and, and a few of the pieces around it. Engineers would say it's harder than that, but it's it's pretty simple, uh, pretty friendly. But it's yeah, it's great to scale up and be able to affordably bring a low carbon solution to the market. For the customer, if I'm an OEM, uh, what it does is it gives me an opportunity to kind of ease into my, my journey to decarbonize. So a lot of the adoption that we have is low volume uh, or low percentage of somebody's production for something non-diesel. Uh, so what this lets you do is keep all of the pieces behind the engine uh, common. So, so you can you know, have a diesel platform if you're an OEM, same as we have a diesel platform on an engine. If you want to sell some hydrogen powered units, it's as simple as installing the other version of the engine. Obviously you got to package the hydrogen, but it's just a really, I'd say easy way to, to decarbonize your uh, products from an OEM perspective. We would launch these products uh, at future emission stages, so tier five, stage six. Uh, you know, obviously with those emissions, we expect greenhouse gas regulations and other things that are going to drive fuel economy improvements. Uh, beyond that, when you start thinking about, you know, not just the diesel, but the hydrogen aspect of this, it's basically a really nice bridge product that's going to help us be able to build out some of the hydrogen storage and generation infrastructure that would lead to a long-term fuel cell um, market. We're still in the early phases. Uh, from a customer perspective, we've done public releases in, in automotive uh, markets. We've also done one with an agricultural customer in, in Canada. Uh, after that, you know, we've got a few more in the works where we've got customers that definitely have some interest in the, in the product and more will be coming soon. Happy to be in Vegas. <laughs> this new range is making everything easier for the customer and future-proofing for a greener tomorrow.